Good afternoon. Here we are again in the hills of Wales. I am on a campsite, Gwen Goff Islaf, if I've pronounced that right. Sorry to anybody from Wales. Tents up. Finally, thanks to my good friend Richard lending me that, minus the tent pegs. And there it is in the background. Trifan. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Might go for a little wander with drone this evening. See what footage we can get. But this is beautiful. There's three other people camping. No one, no one to be seen anywhere. And that showers, that's where I'm parked. So Weather pending, I should be living out of the boot. So I don't clog tent up. Got me on little bench. Beautiful stuff. Um, not really planned what's happening tomorrow, but I do know there is a couple of scrambles, as you would expect. But that is beautiful. You can just see top now. First time I've seen it since I've been here, I've been here about an hour. That is stunning. You can just see Adam and Eve, which is two stones, which I'll show you tomorrow. And talk a bit about them. But I'm still taking it all in. This is absolutely stunning. Three hour drive. As soon as I got here, ended up bump starting a bloke with a flat battery. Good old Land Rover came to the rescue. Happy days. So I think I'm just gonna have a little wander, not too far. Save my legs for tomorrow. Possibly include a bit of drone footage, depending what we get. Um, I did plan on fetching my camera, but that's currently hung up in my uh, downstairs shoe cupboard. So I didn't forget it. So yeah, we forgot that. So yeah, sun shining. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Um, forecast rain every all three days I'm here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but Saturday, last time I looked, which was yesterday night, partly cloudy with some showers. So if it stays like this, I will be well happy. So I'll uh, get settled in, get some things out of boot, and I will come back to you a bit later on. Afternoon. So I decided to ditch setting tent up. Well, rest at tent. I've got the actual tent up. <clears throat> I decided to ditch everything else off, lock car, get changed, and come for a wander just to stretch the legs for tomorrow. Um, I weren't going to bother filming, but I decided I wanted to show you this. So excuse the wind because it's quite windy. It'll be eating straight into the speaker, but check this out. Like, video doesn't do it any justice at all. Like, it just looks absolutely insane. It's like, it's like, I can't explain it, it's like 4K. It's like high definition when you look at it. You can just see, I'll try and zoom in before. No, it won't work. But fog's just coming in now. There's a good chance we might not be able to see anything shortly. Just rolling fruit valley, but 
tomorrow. That's where we're at. Just look at that. Woohoo! Ridiculous. Sun's in and out, but we're heading up there. Maybe. We'll see. Check back later. Morning campers, walkers, wild campers, whatever you're doing in the world, nine o'clock and we are off. Campsite's just back there, just walking, uh, I don't actually know where I'm walking, well I do but I'm walking towards what I think is a north face, you can't really mistake it, Trafan Wales. I'm packed nice and light, there she is, looking a bit grim up top, keeps blowing over but shorts and t-shirt for now, got a set of waterproof trousers and a nice Gore-Tex coat, ready for when it gets grim because I've no doubt whatsoever we will hit some sort of weather, switched up Altbergs for the more grippy stuff because apparently there's a couple of scrambles on this route. It's wet, so I will be treading carefully. Nice and mild. Uh, we're gonna have a bacon sandwich this morning, but I'm not a morning eater, so I decided against it. And I've just forced a chocolate flapjack down, which has made me feel horrendous. So got my little bag on today. Makes a change from the big 60 litre plus and it feels marvellous, feels marvellous. One last spin round, you can't really see but oh you can, Old Fogs all set in valley, it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, just been talking to a chap on campsite and they've headed up opposite side for a camp tonight, up over the top of there. He's just uh, give me a few, explained a few options as to where I can go for next time I come. Uh, so that will be on the to-do list, definitely. So we'll head on a little bit further and we'll see what we've got once we get to the bottom of the big hill. See you in a bit. Gone for a bit of a wild camp option. It's not a bad place to read a book in the morning, is it? Effort. She's getting closer. She's getting closer. Nice Ford. Wonder how long that's been there. Hey up, another camper. 
stunning. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to think I've been up a few hills and been to a few places in my time. Nowhere near as many as I'd like. Still got a few on the old list yet. Quite a few to be fair, but I reckon this is one of the most daunting hills, mountains, whatever you want to call it one of the most daunting I've ever seen it just I can't even explain it it's just just looks evil like when you're looking at it from here they literally that does it no justice whatsoever but there is li literally don't look like any way up <laughs> don't look like there's any way up looks impossible this guy Early morning, fly fishing. What a life, eh? What a... What a life. So, we are just walking along the road. Plenty of parking, by the way, if you ever fancy coming. And there she is. You can just see... Up here, look, and apparently, this looking at it is one of the routes up, like it literally looks impossible. I can't really see, but oh, just there, look, oh, I've just gone round Bend, but there is somebody just gone behind that ridge there. Wow, like I'm not sure which way to head. OS Maps are telling me to carry on further down road, but there's a few people heading up here. What looks near enough impossible. I, th I think I might just follow them. Like this might be one of the best, but craziest things I've ever done. Like I literally, all I think I can see is steps at bottom and then it just turns impossible. Let's have a go. Does anybody ever get that feeling when you first start a walk or a hike or whatever and you get two minutes in and you think, how on earth am I going to get up here? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all your muscles are warm, your body's moving and then you feel like a machine style there better information from a previous video I was told the path always wants to take you over the wall but stick to left hand side so that's exactly what I'm going to do oh wow literally 100 yards from road and I'm on my hands and knees already I'm climbing over steps Wow, just looking at it from here, I'm literally having to lift my head. Like, as high as it'll go. Wow. Oh, we're well into it now. 
we're well into it. Looking back, gang of blokes chasing me up. Here, look, ah, they're not having me just yet. Body's up to temp and blowing a bit now. Oh, I think I'm gonna put camera away for a bit, get me a down and crack on, cuz like literally you need both your hands cuz most of the rocks are like glass I mean they're wet anyway but they're just so smooth I've slipped a couple of times so I don't think having a phone and tripod in my hand is the best idea so I'm heading up there somewhere God knows but this is most definitely the steepest climb I've ever done. And I've only just started and I've got a really good feeling it's going to be one at best as well. <laughs> Without a doubt. Let's crack on. Come on. We've got two rooks here, round to the left, or up there. Obviously, I'm going to choose silly route. <laughs> yes, we're back. We're getting there. We're up now. I don't believe we're quarter away, but we're heading up here. I'm going to take you with me. It looks Looks fairly, uh, I won't say straightforward, but there seems to be quite a few footings up here. So <clears throat> that one I've just come up is literally rock climbing without a rope. Like literally all you've got is a few grabs. Like you really need to think about every step, every grab. Literally make sure you're holding on in three points all time slipped a couple of times and if I hadn't have had an hand in or whatever you want to call it if I hadn't have been grabbing on we at least one of my hands I'd have gone I'd have gone like probably 30 40 feet before I ate some it it's literally that vertical it is not forgiving <laughs> like I wish you could see on camera just just it don't really do it any justice like the incline is crazy Hooah! absolutely crazy everybody seems to have gone round everybody's chucked to left but this pudding here has decided to go straight up obviously not a copycat like all rocks are just wet through Oh, this is definitely a photo opportunity, this one. Absolutely. Just doing here, look. Yep. I don't think you'd stop until you got halfway down. <laughs> Some being clouds. Then it will get interesting. So this is where we're at a minute. <laughs> Fight through that lot. Oh. Exact reason why I shouldn't have my phone, but. Ooh. There we are. Up we go. Push on.
so we're just heading into clouds just about on par with him now you can just see him here so as soon as I get past this next section we'll be there just come from here somehow no idea how look at it <clears throat> beautiful this is like there's a there's a path you can see you can sort of see but you don't have to stick to it you can sort of come whichever way you want there's that many different routes i love it like here want to go upside of the can do or stick to the path obviously i choose idiot route every time but i'm gonna start be a little bit more careful nah now we're heading into the clouds so might pull the old waterproof coat out. Mind you, I'm wet through with sweat anyway, so I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make. Cause I'm not cold. It's so mild, it's absolutely red hot. See you a bit later on. Wow, leveled out a bit now. I can just see a poking through. Can't really see much up there, but I'm just sheltered from mist a little bit here. It just looks, the floor just looks weird. It just looks like bottom of a seabed. Essentially it is, but crazy. We head up again. I have to pick my route wisely now, because I can't see that too far in front of me, so just met a lad from Wakefield. He uh, loves a scramble. He pretty much picked the same route as I did. But if I'd have had my phone out, I would have followed him, but don't like talking when there's anybody there, do I? Sort of let him crack on. Oh dear. Right then. Close call, so that's me putting my phone away again. Let's get it. I've not come up there. I've come round here. But this, I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'm gonna have to find out, but I reckon that scramble what I've just done I've genuinely never been I won't say worried, scared but anxious I've never ever been, I've never felt like that on a mountain, never but like literally tiny, tiny slip you're dead literally like rock climbing 700 feet high we had a rope Literally free climbing. So we're heading up here now. We're going to this rock. I'll take you with me. Just this little bit. Under here. This is amazing. Check that. And then back down there. <laughs> wow. Check this out. I'm nearly at the summit. I'm not far away. Look at that. I just need to head up there somehow. <sighs> there she is. Go on, and he. Adam and Eve. They won't be getting jumped today. Stupidly slipper. Let me get a foot in. Oh, it goes down. Okay, I just do a photo of you standing up. Absolutely beautiful. 
Ooh, so we are near the bottom of the south side which fetches us into this beautiful valley and go let me get this around this corner and I'll show you in fact and I've got a plan I don't ever be one of the bravest again or stupidest decisions I've ever made but it's I'm here for another night, it's half past 12. This is where we're at in Valley Look. Hang on, let me get to edge. Or as far as I dare, with a camera. So this is where we're at at minute. Let me get focused on these. Here we are. And anybody that knows this area will know that that behind me which you can only see a bit of at minute is forgive me if I pronounce this wrong Bristly Ridge so I've decided I'm going to attempt it I don't know how much I'll be filming because this is literally one of the most ridiculous I call it a rock face I've ever seen let's pan you back round Like camera literally doesn't do it any justice. It starts right front bottom and you're straight into it. There's the tiniest little bit of rocky section here, rubble section, and then literally leads you into a pretty much vertical scramble or climb, whatever you want to call it, but let's get it. So we're just about to enter Gully, Mighty Trifan, that's where we've come from. I'll just have a little pan round. Beautiful. Down into the valley, sea just in distance. And this is where we're heading. Two boys just set off here, look. Keeps giving and giving and giving. Oh. Nice little water source at the bottom. We're having a top up. Let's go. That left hand gully, I can't remember what it's called, I'll pop it on the screen. Is one of the most um I can't even describe it. My brain's absolute mush. Like I've never I've never actually put myself in a position where I have, but not like that. Where I think one false move and this is it. I'm gone. I'm dead. <sighs> Massive mixed emotions at minute. I certainly feel alive, that's for sure. <laughs> I've still got a fair way to go, but apparently it's just a shark fin now. All the way on. I say only just, but I say it lightly. We're actually going higher than Trifan where I've just been, so make that of it as you will. That's it. But yeah, literally like every single, my hands are absolutely battered. I've been bleeding at one bit. Stabbed myself with a sharp rock. My legs are absolutely cut to shreds. Every tiny little handhold you've got to think about. And literally like everything's falling away at your feet. Falling all the way to the bottom. Literally all the way to where you started. And just piles of rubble, big rocks. You'll go for an hand grab and it'll just pull away and then it'll just fall down behind you. So you'll have to find something else. Insane, like.
Next little, uh, next little breather before we tackle this bit. <laughs> what are we doing? Sun's trying to fight its way out. All the way along. And then the plan is back down Devil's Kitchen. Find that. No bother. It's tiny now, we're up here. <laughs> Adam and Eve just poking through, somebody sat on top of it, stood on top of it even. He's brave, it's very slippery. Here it is. Mountain rescue. Hate to see it, but Massively not surprised on this terrain. Bedding to literally just where I've come from. Spinning round now. Nasty to see. Just gone behind the valley there. Poor Paul is well, or as well as can be. <sighs> well, I've just got a good foot in. I am literally on top of a peak, all around me, full 360. Nowhere to go, apart from down there, and then back up there. This is ridiculous. Trifan just looks like a midget now. My heart is absolutely pounding. <laughs> and there I was looking down on Trifan. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I don't quite know whether it's over yet, but I'm guessing this is the knife edge. Shark's fin, whatever you want to call it. I'll just get up here while it's still steady away and show you. Yeah, we're here, look. Crazy, absolutely crazy. My heart, I thought my heart were bad up Trifan, but <laughs> three quarters of the way up there. There she is, the mighty Snowden. Let's head over. Look at this, what a playground. <laughs> That's where we've just come from up there, which I believe is a, looks like an ice point anyway, summit. Let's take you over to see Snowden, the mighty Cribgok. Not much wind, it's beautiful. Here we go, look. Have a little zoom in. The other cast. Bit of Cribgok action there. Summit just died in. Keep showing its uh, keep showing peak every now and then, and I've nicknamed this place Emerald City. Here we are then, summit of hey, oh, cloud there, glider fat. If I pronounced it right, oh, I'll just get back down on some uh, steadier ground. So we are now heading to Devil's Kitchen for a descent. 
look at this playground. Show you where we've just come from. Glider 4, I think it's called. Oh, it's gone. Whoa. Get this. Just show you. Layers upon layers. Just pushing its way up fruit floor. Massive. Almost hollow. Stunning. Can't really see where we've just come from. But only way I can describe a lot of it is like it's like Emerald City. Hey up. That a rain from coming in. You can just see over in distance mighty angle sir. Oh. Try not to lose my footing because if I fall down one of these gaps. Some of these ridges are raised a sharp on these rocks. Oh, I'm just about to show you and it disappears into a cloud. Angles are just over in distance. Looks like a bit of clouds coming in. So I'm reckon down here is Devil's Kitchen, they call it. I've heard of it, but I'm yet to see it. What a place, what a place. Snowden just in background, look. You can see Cribgok facing us now. Looks evil. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's not a bad little camping spot, is it? Perfectly flat as well. That's definitely been camped on that. Wake up to that in the morning, wouldn't you? My angle seat in background. I'll tell you what, I don't have to take easy route. <laughs> Just show you how sketchy it is on here. Although you can probably see it, but this is how easy it is to slip. Nice, decent rock to stand on. Gone. Absolutely gone, straight from underneath you. I don't think we've got any more climbing to do. I think we're done now. But I'll tell you what I have done. <coughs> Miss Devil's Kitchen. I thought what were Devil's Kitchen was when I were up at top, down there, which is where I've come. Which, looking at it now, looks impossible. Turns out it's actually there. So I suppose that'll be on the old list for next time. So I'm just at water's edge now. I took my towel out earlier. I'm sort of wishing I hadn't now. I'm saying that now, now I've got no towel. If I had a towel, I'd be like, nah, I'm all right. But yeah, what a day, what a day. I'll not forget this one in a rush. So there we have it. Nice 12 mile circular. I've done about 10 up to now, but a bit of time I've walked back to car. Took to car. We'll be about there. I'll just pan you around one last time if you're still here. Back to Trifan. Facing the other way this time. We've got Ogwin Cottage and car park just here. I shall walk you down to the waterfall just over the bridge and then I'll have a steady walk up to where I'm camping and cook myself some well-deserved food.
lamb kebabs, tikka chicken, in some wraps. Hoo -hoo. I can taste them already. What a journey that's been. <clears throat> what a journey that has been. So many different emotions. Fear being one of them. Here we are. This is going to uh, be a bit loud, but well worth it. It just does not get any better than this. Anybody who fancies that, Trifan, gliders, any of that, there is easier routes to go up, but routes I've done today, I will stress, unless you are mega confident and you've got your wits about you and you know all about three points of contact at any one time, just don't do it it's just not worth it it is just not worth it 